components of a big tractor. They may seem insignificant by themselves, but each is an important link in the total design. At Caterpillar, we concentrate on making things right, even if the process takes a little longer, requires more effort. We feel it's the only way to produce machines of value. The advent of the D-10 introduced a new design for big tractors. The Series L D9 and D8 are outgrowths of that design. They incorporate the sophistication found in the D-10. The result is a new family of big tractors with conservatively rated engines, greater blade capacities, improved maneuverability, more ground clearance, sprockets and final drives elevated above rocks and dirt, suspended bogies that keep more track on the ground, an undercarriage that improves traction, requires less horsepower, contributes to a superior ride. A tag link transfers loads direct to the mainframe, eliminates diagonal braces, this allows the blade to be mounted closer. Hydraulic rams placed almost vertically for more down pressure. All these new tractors have much greater ripping capability. The D8L has a newly designed radial ripper that's fully adjustable, gives better penetration and reach. Push loading performance is improved. And electronic monitoring of all machine systems is a valuable feature of the operator station, along with an improved environment and better visibility fore and aft. Complete modular design of all major components is a result of the extensive research that went into these machines. Almost 10 years of research and testing proved the value of the basic design. Research that investigated the metallurgy, fuel and hydraulic systems. Thoroughly tested structural members. From the laboratory, test machines were moved to the proving ground. Performance checked under severe conditions. Production models were checked on actual jobs. Modifications to the design improved performance. But design is just one part of what you buy. How the tractor is built is equally important. This automated material handling area is part of Caterpillar's new big tractor factory in East Peoria, Illinois. Incoming materials from other Caterpillar plants and suppliers are stored with computer care and accuracy, assurance that the right pieces will arrive at the build-up areas when needed. Each has been tested. They'll be tested again. The mainframe has already been built up on a sub-assembly line. Its dimensions checked to ensure design integrity. The orderly progression of assembling modules and components now begins.
components are built on sub-assembly lines and subjected to stringent tests. They'll be checked again when they go to the main assembly line and become part of a total machine. This special wrench automatically provides the exact torque required. Nothing can be left to chance. On the sublines, other components take shape, like this electronic monitoring system. LEDs provide information on the condition of major machine functions. A fault light and warning horn are also part of the system. Caterpillar's Mossville plant builds and supplies these engines. That's their specialty. Each one has been computer tested and checked on a dynamometer. They'll be checked again after they become part of the tractor. The engine is fired up, a quick check that all modules work together with tractor power. After cleaning and a first coat of paint, the real test of all modules and systems will take place. Hookup for the highly sophisticated test is elaborate. A programmed robot will act as the machine's operator, operate the controls in a precise order and pre-timed program in this soundproof test cell. All modules and systems have been individually proven before assembly. Now, the computer guides and monitors the machine's functions to determine and record how everything works together as a unit. If design parameters and tolerances are not met, the computer shuts down the test until the problem is found and solved. When the computer is satisfied the design specifications have been met, assembly is allowed to continue. Track and undercarriage have been built on a subline, are now ready to be married to the tractor to give it mobility.
tractor will soon move under its own power, and another test will be made. The undercarriage on every tractor is observed and evaluated by a specially trained operator before final assembly can start. A tractor qualifies for final assembly only when it has passed all the tests. Now it receives the finishing touches. Whether D9, D8, or D10, these machines are the most technologically advanced tractors today. They share a common design, and they share something else that is equally important, the manufacturing and assembly process that executes the design. Each model is built utilizing the same sophisticated tooling and techniques. At Caterpillar, we concentrate on building machines right even if it takes a little longer, requires more effort. Attention to details in design, development, and manufacture, it does make a difference.